now that we have the SQL script to create the database, let us first upload this to Apex and run it. So of course, what we need to do is within Apex, you know, log into Apex, select SQL Workshop, either by clicking on the, you know, pulling down the drop down here or clicking on SQL Workshop, and then selecting SQL Scripts. As you already know, this is the place where you can upload the script that was gen generated by the Oracle Data Modeler software. Okay, so you choose the file, click on the, you know, choose the file button and then go and locate the file in your, on your disk and then give it some name. I just called it amazing underscore ink. Okay, once again, the script name is not allowed to contain special characters or spaces, right? So you can't have a hyphen or a space within the script name. So if you want to have it, just have one word or if you do want to have multiple words, separate them with underscores. After uploading, by clicking the upload button, you of course need to run the script. I have, unfortunately, I have not shown that on the slide here, but after you upload, this new script that you uploaded will appear as the topmost item here, and then you will click the run button on the right-hand side corresponding to the newly uploaded script, and that script will then execute all the code in your DD, DDL file, okay? So what will happen when you do that for the first time is, you will see that running the script generates some errors like table or view does not exist. Okay, that is perfectly fine. And in fact, you expect that. Uh, that is because, remember when we selected the uh, options for generating the DDL, we selected the delete options. Okay, so what we're saying is before you create all of these tables, okay, you want to uh, delete the tables if they exist and then create them anew. Okay, the reason we chose that is it is possible that you may have to, you know, suppose you start developing your application and then suddenly you find that you made a mistake in your logical model. So you have to go all the way back to the logical model. Okay, so at that point you will go back to the logical model, fix the errors and so on and generate the uh, DDL again after generating the relational model. Okay, and then you'll have to run the DDL again on Apex. Okay, so at that time, what you really want to do is to delete the old tables and create them new. Okay, that is why we chose the delete option. So therefore, after you upload the script and after you run it, the first time around, you will see some errors. There's nothing to be panicked about uh, regarding that. Okay, uh, and then of course, you know, if you, if at that point, uh, you go and look at your, you know, after running the script, uh, you go and look at the object browser and by default tables will be selected and you will see the new tables that were just created. Okay, of course, these are empty tables at this point, right? Because we have not entered any customers or sales orders or products or none of those things. All we have in the SQL is the script to simply create the empty tables and here they are. Okay, now if you go ahead and select sequences and triggers, okay, you'll see that there are some objects there as well. I'm not going to get into any of the details pertaining to these objects, but they are the objects created to facilitate the auto increment option that we set up in the relational model. 